Hey guys, me, Reynolds, Chris Tomery here with this Tuesday afternoon, evening mountain weather update. We'll start with radar, and this is our front moving out of Utah, moving out of Wyoming, and into Colorado. So radar in Colorado, you can see some of the snow breaking out. Now this front is not big, but it does have some moisture and a little bit of lift with it. I think we can crank out maybe two, three, four inches of accumulation over the highest peaks of Colorado. Um, and that's probably going to do it. It's moving too fast otherwise. Um, so that's Colorado. Here is Utah, where the snow is coming from, coming out of. You can also see some residual snow up in the parts of Wyoming up there in the Wind Rivers. Um, so it's interesting. When you look back at uh, Alta, they ended up with, they're officially saying 10 inches from the storm system. But you can see, so we had some snow this morning, about 3 or 4 inches. Now they've, they've added at least 4, 5, 6 to that through the course of today. So still looking good. Maybe a little bit of snow still coming down, but you saw it on radar. I mean, by and large, the energy's moving away and down into Colorado. Looking across the West, the big picture, another storm system already hitting the Pacific Northwest, Washington, Oregon. That's the next storm system in line. In fact, here is the forecast, here's the, uh, the water vapor satellite imagery and how it plays into the forecast. So oranges and reds are your drier air aloft. The moisture aloft is in the whites and the blues, and that is our next area of low pressure moving in. You can see what it's doing. It's pushing moisture up towards the uh, Pacific Northwest and eventually BC. That's what's gonna help to refire some of the snow um, for not only the coastal range of BC, but eventually into the interior parts of BC. And there's our front kind of passing through Utah, Wyoming, and down into Colorado. So that's gonna blow through pretty fast. Behind it, there is additional energy, but this is the low to watch. Now, a pretty seismic shift here in the afternoon data as far as what I'm seeing. It looked like at some point we'd get some energy kicked out of the south through the southern tier, and it would help to draw up some of this, some of this uh, tropical moisture and develop a low through New Mexico and Colorado, 17, 18, 19. The timing now looks like it's, it's off by about a step. I'll, I'll explain what that means now. Uh, I'll explain what that means coming up. But here are my bullet points. So we've got the cold front tonight in Colorado. Then that storm system already beginning up in the Pacific Northwest continues through 14, 15, 16. I'll show you how it sends moisture from the West Coast into the interior. And then that southern track timing, and it might be a miss. It might be a miss. So we'll have to look at that. So that does affect my my snow timeline best odds of snow for the wasatch tetons colorado tahoe and interior notice now for example in colorado tonight light to moderate snow accumulations so potentially two four two three four inches maybe maybe an outside shot of five inches in some of the highest peaks of colorado but then 11 18 11 19 you might remember from this morning's update this was a heavy snow potential period not now i had to tailor that back a little bit to a light potential, it's still possible that maybe tomorrow the you know the, the the data shows that the timing is a little bit better that it doesn't lose a step, um, and we bring back that heavy potential. But right now I had to I had to trim it back. Um, that would be the case for New Mexico as well. Tahoe light accumulations 13, 14 afternoon of 13, 14 late, uh, 15 and 16, 17 all light periods, all light. Um, so here is the forecast radar and satellite. So by, that is 530. That's your view. Snow moving in to Colorado. Snow moving through Wyoming. And then it's gone by tomorrow. Here comes that big storm for the Pacific Northwest and B.C. Notice the snow moving up through interior B.C. Snow in Idaho, northwest Montana. And this does drag some precip all the way down to Tahoe and also up towards Mount Shasta. And then it moves up into the northern uh, states. And there's another little area of energy here. Now, this was the one that it, it looked like in the earlier updates might help to get the southern track wide open, might help to bring some energy in that way. But this does hit the Sierra with light snow accumulations late 14 and 15. But then it moves into the interior states, interior Rockies, Utah, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming with a route of snow. And it does th move through Colorado, but right there... 17 into 18. You can almost see the green there coming out of New Mexico and moving straight into Texas and Oklahoma. That's the low that looked like it was really going to develop into something significant for New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, even pretty much the four corners. Now it doesn't look like it. It looks like it moves straight through and there's no curvature. 
So there's no panhandle hook with that storm system in this update. Still a lot of energy for the northern tier and BC. Um, and then there's one last little area of snow moves through Colorado. Another area of low pressure hitting the Pacific Northwest by 1121. You can see, but it is really far to the north. And at this point, if this forecast holds, this is a pretty big ridge of high pressure for areas of the west. This would be a complete pattern shift if this takes place. It's almost like losing that southern track is a loss for the pattern overall by the time we get to 2021, 20, 22, because it flips to high pressure. Without that southern track, it's just like it's it, it totally flips fast. All right, here is the latest snow forecast that I've got. So only light accumulations for Colorado, maybe one, two, three, four, maybe an outside five inch amount over the high peaks. Everything else that's big is up in the Pacific Northwest and parts of BC, and potentially uh, nine inches up there on Shasta. Second period, look at the change. The earlier forecast that I had this morning and even most of yesterday all had a bullseye over Colorado, New Mexico. Not now with the loss of that storm system. Uh, it's only light now. All the biggest numbers are up in the Pacific Northwest and BC, where we could see one, two, maybe even three feet of snow. Anywhere in that pink shading is a foot or more. Um, so you're looking at big numbers through interior BC and along the coastal range, Rainier, Baker, all the way down through the high Cascades and the volcanoes. Decent numbers up in the Tetons and Big Sky, probably six to 10 up in that area, but now even less for the Wasatch. You know, losing that energy on the Southern branch is a, is a huge loss. It really is for the whole pattern. I will see what tomorrow brings. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here to this afternoon evening update. I appreciate it. Take care.